Well, now an I-Team investigation into the skyrocketing cost of health care. Consumers are feeling it with rising premiums and higher deductibles. But as Ryan Kath explains, a Cape Cod man believes part of the problem is simply greed and that lawmakers are doing very little to stop it. This brace was supposed to be the fix when Bob Messina of Yarmouthport twisted his knee. But the real pain came when he opened the bill. I was in shock. Bob hadn't reached his insurance deductible yet, so he was ready to pay out of pocket. But I didn't expect it to be $672.22. There it is, the Royal Warrior knee brace. But his shock turned to anger when Bob did a quick Google search. He discovered the exact same brace available on several sites for as little as 125 bucks. I would have worn the brace that I bought at CVS, and I would have been happy with it. It all comes back to Medicare. The agency decides what it will pay for medical devices. In this case, up to $712 for a knee brace. That's a markup of more than 400%. Many suppliers use the same pricing even for those with private insurance, like Bob. It's not right. Apparently, the head of the Medicare division in charge of setting those pricing standards agreed. Back in 2012, Lawrence Wilson testified before Congress saying prices for medical equipment were grossly inflated, and this system is plagued with fraudulent practices. When we contacted Medicare, a spokesperson told us since then prices have been reduced on other equipment like wheelchairs, but not for things like Bob's knee brace. This is a significant problem. David Seltz is the director of the Health Policy Commission, a state agency created to figure out how to reduce the cost of health care. He told us the Commonwealth needs to look at ways to control excessive charges. It is an outrageous practice that patients are being put in a place where they're being charged two to three times the cost of some of these devices. Bob just wants someone to crack down on supply companies that he believes are taking advantage of a broken system. This company charging $672? He's raking us over the coals. We wanted to know why this problem isn't fixed, but didn't get a straight answer from either Massachusetts senator. So as a patient, the best way to avoid the surprise bill is to check with your insurance company before accepting any device from a medical facility, because you might be able to buy a cheaper one yourself. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.